feel like making this video is the wrong decision. Uh, well, well What's up YouTube? AJ and Johnny here from The Art of Charm. And today we wanna to answer a question we get all the time, especially when it comes to decision making. The question is, how do I know I'm making the right decision? This is why we did a whole month on decision making and it had been a lot of fun. So if you enjoy this, you definitely wanna check out the podcast. It's a phenomenal question. And of course, when it comes to the big decisions in our life, we're always gonna be thinking, what if, what could have been, and there's always gonna be regret tied to it. So the first thing I wanna point out is thinking about things in black and white terms, right and wrong decisions is the wrong way to go about it. It's the wrong perspective to have. That's right. Sometimes there's no clear cut path on the right decision. And what we say around here at the office is sometimes there's no right decisions, only decisions that you make right. Exactly. If we go about decision making thinking this is going to be the right decision, hoping this is going to be the right decision, we're not committing to that action. Decision is a choice, but we have to reinforce that choice by taking action and being committed to it. That's how we make it the right decision. And you cannot begin doing the work and channeling that energy that is going to make that the right decision until you fully commit. The second thing we want to point out is there's always going to be those regrets tied to decision making. Your mind is wired to think about alternative outcomes, realities, what ifs, could have been, should have been. So we have to set those aside, walk away from that. We can't be so tied to that side of our brain. If we're thinking and wallowing in that decision, we're not taking action and being focused on the future. And the thing about it is hindsight is 2020. So you're, you could come up with all sorts of past scenarios that hypothetically could have worked out. But the longer you do that, the less time you're putting in to the work that it's going to take for the decision that you committed to. Your mind will always create alternative realities, but guess what? Those alternative realities are not real. And lastly, if you have a growth mindset, you're always going to make the right decision. Regardless of how things turned out and possibly if they hadn't turned out in the way that you had imagined them, with a growth mindset, you will be able to derive a lesson that allow you to be a better person from the decision that's been made. That's right being process oriented instead of outcome yep. oriented. If you're thinking about, is this the right decision? You're focused on the outcome and not the process. And as we make more decisions in life, we strengthen those decision-making skills. And all of a sudden we're going to see that those decisions always become the right ones. Right on. So if you enjoyed this lesson, we'll link the podcast of decision-making in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed this, head on over to the subscribe button, smash that and then smash that little bell notification so that you will be updated when we send out new videos. We'll see you next week. Be free.